Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Cookables Nation. My name is Secret Agent Neeks and the Cookables. I'm the founder and the director of the Cookables Industry Spy Network and the Cookables Nation. This is going to be a different tutorial than what I normally do on this channel. Now, you may be asking, Sendo, why is this a different tutorial? This is something I tend to cover on my secondary channel, which I will be linking in the description of this video below. I should probably do that for all the videos from my channel from this point on. You'll see what I mean if you check the doobly-doo. For this tutorial, I will assume you have installed Linux Mint 21.3. I will be using Cinnamon, but if you have Xvice or Mate, this should also work. We're not going to waste any more time. I'm going to bring up the notes in which I've done for this tutorial. So, yep, I'm just doing some planning beforehand. Now, the first things first, we're going to go ahead and do Control Alt and T or bring up any terminal of your choice. In my case, I have this set up for the GNOME terminal, right? But let's actually, instead, I'm going to use Alacrity. Again, you can use whatever terminal you'd like. So, the first thing you need to do, always do sudo apt update and then do a double ampersand, which means after this, do sudo apt upgrade and then dash y, which means assume yes. Basically, it will default to yes instead of no. So, once you hit enter and place in your sudo password, which I will go ahead and do here for demonstrative purposes, let apt do its thing. Now, obviously, you're going to get a shorter list of these dot list files and they will be located inside of etc apt and then sources.list.d so yours is probably going to be faster than mine unless of course you've done what i've done and pretty much installed some outside packages some ppas or whatnot after the update is done go ahead and reboot your machine once the machine is rebooted then do sudo apt install mint meta codex now this is for if you did not click the little box to say install multimedia codex you're basically doing this command in a point and click environment if that makes sense now once you hit enter let apt do its thing that should be done after you get the multimedia codex go ahead and log out and then log back in you should have the multimedia codex support now the next command will be groups. Simple as that, just groups. This will display the groups you are in. Now, you should see that you do not have audio group as of yet. If you do not have audio group yet, then you'll be able to follow along. But if for some reason audio group was added during the installation process, you should be fine. But I will assume audio group is not in your groups list. So the first thing to do, sudo group add and then audio. This will add the audio group. Hit enter. It should automatically add the audio group for you. And then after this is done, you'll do sudo user mod dash lowercase a capital G, which means add to a group. Then you'll do audio. And then the easiest way to tell your username, this at symbol, what's on the left of your at symbol, that's the username you'll be using on your machine. Another trick is to do dollar sign and then user in all caps. But in my case, I'll use my own username. Hit enter, go ahead, add yourself into the audio group. Next, you'll do groups again. But this time, do a pipe, which is shift and backslash, and then do grep, which allows you to search for text, and then audio. Now, once you hit enter, you should see audio highlighted, as you see here in orange. The last time I did a tutorial like this, it was in red, but I was using GNOME Terminal at the time, and I didn't know exactly how to do this properly back then. Probably you, it was so small you couldn't even see squat. So now you should be in the audio group. The next thing to do 
is to install Jack D2. Basically, it's Jack 2. It's a daemon. It will be sudo apt install Jack D2. You should also keep Jack D. And basically, Jack 2 will be the default. Now, you may be asking, Sendo, what in the world is Jack? Jack, or the Jack Audio Connection Kit, is an audio server designed to do very demanding audio work. In my case, because I use Ardor for my music, you're going to want to use Jack since it has very low latency. With Pulse Audio, you're basically SOL. Now, once you install Jack D2, hit enter after inputting this command, Jack D2 and some dependencies will install. After this is done, you should have one of two files. Then go into your text editor of choice, sudo. I will use Vim today, but you can use nano, micro, whatever. And then etc security limits dot d, which is the limits directory, and then audio.conf. And then enter in your password if needs be. In my case, I actually have the nice level set to negative 19. This will be commented with a hashtag by default. But if you want to add the nice level, go ahead and add in the nice level of negative 19. Of course, if you have that specific file, do anything you can, do whatever you need to save the file, and then go ahead and leave it be. If you decide to not install the audio.com file in limits.d, then you can go into etc security and then limits.conf. It'll be the same thing. Go down to the end of the file and then after your username, do a couple spaces at audio and then do RT prio, which is real time priority. Set this to 95 and then at audio again, memlock and then unlimited. I do not know what these do, but if you do these two things, Jack will work just fine. And of course, for the audio, if you want the nice level, set that to negative 19, as the Jack guys already have it set, or whoever packaged this specific variant of Jack D2. Of course, I will not save the file, and we should be able to exit there. After this is done, log out and then log back in. You should now have the Jack Daemon already installed. The next step to do, we're going to go into LibreWolf or whatever browser you have selected. And then we're going to find, if you're using Ardor, you'll want to use the Ubuntu Studio backport. The one that I would probably go ahead and use go into this backport over here. This is for Ardor backports. It will be designed for Jammy in particular. Now, you'll want to very easily copy with control C in your terminal, control shift and V, hit enter. And then if needs be, enter your sudo password and then hit enter probably one more time. Unless, of course, you do a dash Y, which will be assume yes. This will add the latest backport of Ardor. It'll be Ardor 7 onto the Ubuntu 22.04 repositories in which you have set up. Of course, sudo apt update. Once you update the package information, you'll then get the latest version of Ardor. sudo apt install Ardor. Now, you can do this for pretty much any free Libre open source software DAW. It won't just be Ardor, but for example, you could do QTractor, which is another DAW. You could do LMMS through an app image. You could use whatever DAW you want. Go ahead and learn how to install that onto your system. In my case, I'll be using Ardor. I already have Ardor 7 installed, and it'll be just called Ardor 7, right? Or whatever Ardor is going to be. I think in my case, it will end up being Ardor 7, if I'm not mistaken. But that doesn't matter. After you have your DAW installed, you're going to want to get into your browser again. 
and then do kx.studio. You'll go into the KX Studio. It's a collection of applications and plugins for audio production purposes. I do a lot of MIDI composition, especially Toho style MIDI composition, of which I've actually probably been a pioneer in Toho style bossa nova. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check the link below. My channel, my second channel, will be there so you can learn the type of music in which I happen to produce. Now, go into repositories on here and then do about slash how to. This will give you the tutorial on how to do this. And then probably I'll just do it here. sudo apt update enter booyah. Next, sudo apt install apt transport https and then do gpgv and then wget enter let those install then copy the wget command control c go into your terminal control shift and v okay hit enter you'll get this specific debian style package it's a debian package format you'll be able to use that and then to install it do sudo dpkg dash i and then kx studio hit tab it should auto complete this for you once this is done you now have the kx studio repositories do quick sudo apt update once again to update the repository information then you'll be able to use the kx studio repositories and applications within kx studio to your delight now once this is done, you should have one other app installed, which is in fact an optional dependency. This will be QJack CTL. sudo apt purge QJack CTL. You do not need this. Hit enter, purge it from your system. Of course, the package managers will not touch your home directory. So you need to go to I think dot local share dot config whatever you see for QJAC CTL in your home directory get rid of it get it out of here make sure you type in QJAC CTL in the search for your file manager now in my case here on cinnamon it will be Nemo but in most cases for me I use PC man FM that's just my personal preference once QJAC CTL is completely removed from your system then you can go ahead and do sudo apt install cadence cadence is the jack toolbox in which i personally happen to use i do not really need to use qjack ctl cadence is so much better for my personal workflow in fact i have it right here on my toolbar alongside katia which is essentially one of the tools in cadence for routing jack applications to whatever is needed. That is going to be it for this video. That being said, thank you and good night.